Our world has been in need of healing. And uh, this morning, we heard news, many of us on our way here, that gave us a sense of hope. Uh, as you enter the sanctuary today, you may have noticed there are chairs that are set aside for those who were taken hostage on October 7th. And this morning, we heard the news that four of those hostages were rescued alive. And so we give thanks, uh, and one in particular, there were, there were four, all with names and stories, um, but Noah Argamani, uh, who was that very vivid image of the young woman on the back of a motorcycle on, the, on October 7th, she was one of those who was rescued, and we thank God for that. Uh, they are in good medical condition, uh, and we know that there are more to be saved and rescued, and that we pray for an end, a lasting peace to that region. Uh, and so this morning we offer uh, a prayer for the state of Israel. Before we do that, I want to offer this prayer for the hostages. It was written by Rabbi Noam E. Morans, who's Director of Interreligious and Intergroup Relations of the American Jewish Committee. We pray for the hostages and their loved ones who continue to live through unending horror. We pray for innocents who are victim to the war, human beings created in the image of God. We pray for the soldiers in harm's way, the wounded and the maimed. May they return safely to the warm embrace of their closest ones. We pray for the purveyors and deliverers of human, humanitarian aid who endeavor to do what is right and needed. We pray for the peacemakers. May they bring shalom to all. We pray for the world to wake up and say there is no place for anti-Semitism in our society. Confronting all forms of hate is everyone's responsibility. Shira Hadasha, let us sing to God a new song, a hymn that longs to extol our deliverance from despair to joy, from mourning to celebration, from darkness to light, from enslavement to redemption, from war to peace. And so we turn together to page 259 as we join together in a prayer for peace for Israel, knowing that peace for Israel will bring lasting peace to all those in harm's way in Israel, in Gaza, and in that region. And so we join together. O Heavenly One, protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Amen. 